Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. We know this is for all those bad tennis players out there. We got another one for the bad tennis players out there. Stay tuned. Coffee sponsor of the day is Gabriel Rodriguez. Gabriel writes, love the videos. Say hi to Christopher Miller for me. Thank you. Well, hey, Christopher Miller from Gabriel Rodriguez and me. Hope you're doing well. Um, thank you for the coffee. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buy me a coffee dot com forward slash tennis spin thank you all in advance and thank you for keeping the coffee train rolling i appreciate you all right so mm, mm. Whew, nice strong roast today okay so we know functional tennis has got this going on and we've been selling a lot of these you know the wooden spoon for those bad boys out there those bad bad tennis balls out there so you can keep your eye on the ball so you can hit it right so we've actually sold a ton of these which i was pretty surprised at um they actually just sent me their newest toy i knew this was coming because they gave me a heads up we got a little carrying case too looks like i should be going to yoga or something with this thing Oh, hello. We got strings. So it's the Sabre made out of graphite, it looks like. And it's called the Sabre Mid. Wow, it's got good weight. That's crazy. So 10.5 ounces unstrung, which is 300 grams approximately head size is 37 square inches which is 240 centimeters i'll show you the wow this is going to be interesting oh yeah see sweet spot remains the same so another training tool by these guys man <laughs> i'm gonna swing it here because i want to see how it Definitely not going to be able to slice with this thing. It's got good weight. I like the weight. All right, let's uh, let's take this on the court. And uh, man, this reminds me of God's racket. If you guys don't remember, Prince did a little thing on God's racket. It's longer than this. Remember we did a video on that. I'll link that video down on the bottom. All right. All right, let's give it a test ride. Oh. Hold on, watch. 
Just got off with the, uh, well, I guess they call it a training tool, but it looked like you guys could play pretty well with this, like in a match to me. But I'm gonna let you guys speak for yourself. So I'll, I'll start with uh, Coach Rob here. I enjoyed the saber. Um, you really have to keep your head still. You really have to look at the ball, all that last, you know, foot from the bounce all the way to the racket. Look for that blur as it comes through, because if you look up early. It may be hitting the fence behind you, and um, uh, you'd be going for a walk to pick it up. But this was a great training tool, excellent for keeping your head still and watching the ball all the way. Um, we had some fun rallies with it, so. Definitely. Eli, I think, can play a match with it, but go, ahead, go for it, bud. At first, using this racket, I uh, was having a lot of trouble even making any solid contact with the ball. I guess my hand-eye coordination skills aren't quite as good as I thought they were before, but over time I felt like I was getting used to it, keeping my eye, my eye on the ball more probably, keeping my head still like Rob mentioned, and by the end I was actually hitting some pretty solid shots with this racket, more like the shots I hit with my regular racket because I was getting it in the sweet spot, so it took some adjusting, but by the end it was a cool racket to, to use. Well, small racket in the camera is a recipe for anxiety, but just focused <laughs> a little bit more and, and got it in. So it was fun. Definitely a little weird. Makes a weird ting, but that's not that. You just gotta pay extra attention to it. Yeah, you guys actually played very well with it. I was, uh, I was a little surprised that when we were, you know, hitting around some more that Eli actually picked it up again and decided to use it. And you had even mentioned that, uh, yeah, that you would, you know, that you wanted more of it, right? Right. And you want to play a match with it? Is that uh, what it is? May maybe. Maybe a little <laughs> more practice first. Um, yeah, I feel like it was a good exercise just because you know, sometimes I do to look up too soon before I hit the shot, and this racket was helping me sort of stay focused on the ball, um, and especially on a windy day. Like today, it's both tough, but it's also important to watch the ball. So um, this racket helped me helped me to do that. There you go. Yeah, as you can see behind me, it's like tornado over right here. Uh, but I, the thing that I figured out with this racket was, if you were just driving through, that it was fine. If you're driving through each way, if you committed to the shot, once you connected, it felt like a regular racket. Uh, but when you when I like the ones that are falling out of the sky, right? And then I had the time like this. Those were the ones that I was in trouble at because I I kind of had to just guess at where it was gonna come up, and I just, those were the hard ones to get actually. If you were gonna slice at anything, it it was like crapshoot. But if you drove it, definitely there, definitely confident. You had to be confident with your shot is what it was. But I would definitely suggest this for anybody who plays tennis for sure as a training tool as a, as a best racket, um, i liked it a lot they actually did a really good job with this all right so that's the functional tennis saber mid all right. thank my friends today, coach rob former students eli and hayden for hanging out with me today coach oh, yes. goo I don't know if it's a training tool or if actually you can play with that racket, right? Coach, what do you think? I mean, you can actually play with this racket. It's like um, the wooden spoon that all of us have been seeing on Instagram and a lot of the academies use. But this one actually has strings, so it's actually like a tennis racket. So I feel like it's a great tool, especially learning for like where your sweet spot is for sure. And honestly, it just feels great. So when you hit it well right in the sweet spot, it flies like a normal tennis, like normal racket. Um, it really helps you just learn how to coordinate your swing, your footwork, and just timing of your shots. Um, usually with the bigger tennis racket or the no normal tennis racket, you'll usually get away with it because the racket's so big. But this one actually teaches you how to hit clean and through your shots. So if you know you're hitting it well, it goes through the air pretty nicely. If you know you're off, it really gives you that nice feedback. Um, 
but yes, I would like learn how to hit baselines with this. So kids who are even professionals, I mean, it's such a great tool for all levels. Um, just kind of reteaching yourself and reconnecting, especially having an off day, for example, it really helps you kind of reconnect and polish up your contact points and timing. Um, but overall, I mean, super useful tool. I think functional tennis is coming up with something that is great for all levels from beginning as let's say developing probably from that yellow yellow group clinics to the high professionals so great tool awesome job um functional tennis with the saber i think this is a great product to use overall nice yeah you hit pretty well with it i think this could definitely be your racket i mean it could be but um i prefer a little more head size i don't think you need it um, well for you i don't need it that much <laughs> i could probably play with this it wouldn't stick all right, enough of that. Coach Goo, where can we find you? <laughs> find me at hu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, ready? Out! The ball was in! You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious! The ball hit the paint! Paint flew up! Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor! You cannot be serious! Oh wait, I have swing vision. The ball is in.